Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another bomb reading. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. And we have flying. And let's see what else. We have commitment. Look at that. I feel like it came out the other day. And we have uh, ride the wave. All right, flying. This is seeing life from a different perspective, a higher perspective. Maybe you have changed your mind uh, about something or changed about somebody possibly or maybe about commitment in general uh the flying card but it is uh, a place of confidence yeah and uh, basically kind of higher higher consciousness but definitely confidence uh and peace right flying we have the commitment card and he's holding her hand there and i guess he's going to give her a ring uh yeah i'm pretty sure the hearts are fluttering and we have ride the wave and there's some type of something here is challenging because ride the wave is a five right so just kind of go with the flow so you can have this commitment or uh yeah that's kind of how it looks and let's use the gnome cards yes the little gnomes yes let's see what we got here mm -hmm. for capricorn sun moon rising and venus and anybody who resonates with it because it's a general reading right we have labor the three of wands and he's carrying more than three wands he is he's got a whole bunch on his back labor uh mm, interesting and then we have or it's a woman I, don't know, I think it's a woman we have uh the nine of cups but it's reversed so drunkenness this is, talks about somebody kind of kind of being drunk in love it can be or just kind of being happy and in this fantasy kind of it's in the reverse so uh somebody like somebody was in somewhere in a relationship or somewhere uh where they were kind of disenchanted and it was a lot of work for them it was it was probably a relationship i'm not really sure uh and let's see what we have we have the devil it's in the reverse so you know uh mm -hmm. yeah very interesting uh, somebody's coming out of the devil energy, which is I don't know, fear, kind of feeling stuck, something like that. Uh, and they are even because they went through something a little challenging, ride the wave and the next to the labor card. And let's see what the tree of life uh, cards have to say, right? And the Kabbalah, the teachings of the Kabbalah was supposed to be on the tree of life, was supposed to be one of the major uh, I guess modalities or you know uh to help you reach your true potential that's what that's about potential higher consciousness and also your true potential yeah and uh the teachings of the Kabbalah always support women yes they support women big time uh that the the divine feminine is the great like really like uh they honored yeah and so we have the thaw and the advisor the thaws reversed and we have the head okay the head means there's usually a headache or somebody was the head of something the advisor giving advice here because somebody had a headache the thaw the thaw can be if honestly you can talk about a few things it talks about things that are very cold and kind of not working out like this labor card yeah, and this kind of nine of cups reverse, like I, I was not inspired or I wasn't in love or I wasn't happy, something like that. Uh, something comes to an end here, but this is about a commitment and seeing things from uh, maybe somebody has is reconsidering something here, but it's definitely about somebody who's in their higher self uh, and they want a commitment. And so uh, ride the wave is next to draw is next to the labor card and this other card of disenchantment yeah so somebody here is like let me just go go with this flow for i'm going to end this cycle because this is a five so it ends a cycle the nine is the cycle ending uh yeah the commitment is also some type of completion yeah somebody yeah and so let's see what we have capricorn if you'd like your own psychic reading you can get one i'm a silver grad they're accurate and uh it's really an experience a very cool experience and we do them on the phone or we do them over a video call where i can see you and you me it can be on anybody if you can talk about you can ask about two people if you would like if you get the the combo or the 50 minute reading everything is below and uh yeah in the description box so let's see what we have we start with the three of pentacles and capricorn eight of swords yeah see somebody felt really stuck here 
and they didn't want to deal with that anymore. Yeah, and they kind of dropping, dropping, kind of dropping it. That's how it looks. All right, we have something. We have the courage card. So there's like self mastery and there's courage here. Yeah, there is the five of pentacles. Yeah, something was very cold here. I was saying that uh, with one of the thaw, the thaw card reversed. It's about uh, something that was like not, it's just cold or uninspiring, right? These people are not inspired. No, they are uh, outside in the cold with uh, in inclement weather with no shoes and uh, yeah, and you know, he's injured and yeah, he's not in good health. And so this is in the past. Uh, the ride the wave is connected to this and is the labor card uh, with the uh, lady carrying all those kind of wands that are, you know, big chunks of wood and just, you know, really all this heavy labor. And so something was a lot of work in the past that somebody puts down. Yeah. Three of cups, the death card. Yeah, we have transformation. We hear, here we have the King of Pentacles. That definitely could be you or maybe another earth sign. Uh, right here is uh, the strength card is here in the root. This talks about I want to work things out or I want my life to function. But when we see it underneath commitment, somebody looks like they want to work things out with you, Capricorn, or uh, maybe nothing ever fell apart. Maybe they are dropping something that frees them up for commitment. Like nothing ever really fell apart between you guys. Uh, it definitely could be. Uh, and this could be where somebody's possibly their beliefs have just kind of blown up in their face. Like, oh, uh, I don't think that way anymore. I'm different. I've changed so much. And the flying card shows a higher perspective. So that's what I mean. Maybe somebody has just changed their values. The three and the five and the four of pentacles can be about values. And so here we have the eight of swords in this challenge. Let's see what it's about here. Uh, this is about somebody who had themselves kind of stuck. It sits in the challenge and now they are able to understand with this higher perspective, five of cups. Yeah. So, you know, somebody knows that they had to kind of step away from whatever they were doing. Could have been anything relationship, it could have been, um, like I said, anything, values, beliefs, or just something here has to end. And somebody feels is kind of grieved it in the reading. Yeah, they did. Uh, but they had to kind of release themselves. The Eight of Swords is a release. Uh, yeah, it is. And so the strength cards, why it's all happening. Somebody has courage because they're seeing things in a different way. Now they have courage. Six of Wands. Capricorn uh, reversed with the five of pentacles. So, you know, this is about um, not overcoming something that was either oppressed, repressive, suppressive, unhappy, lacking. I mean, it, the, it's a long list basically with the six of pen, six of wands reversed. This is like, I can't overcome this. It's too unhappy or it's too it's too lacking. It's too, uh, it's too poor in terms of inspiration or something like that. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's not what I want. And we saw that with the nine of cups reversed because they're drunk in love here. They're drinking and they, and, you know, they're together and they're happy here. And he's looking at her like, did you drink the last of it? But this is about getting your wish or being drunk in love. And in the reverse, it means I'm not inspired and this is not my wish. And the emperor is the mindset. Let me take control of my life with my higher perspective for sure. Uh, let me uh, put things in order. Yeah, let me do that. And so uh, we have the four of pentacles here with, um, with the justice card. There could be a divorce in this reading. There could. Uh, this is a decision to hold on. This is showing up as wisdom, uh, right? And holding on to my values, the four of pentacles could be holding on to money for some, right? Could be, but, uh, especially under the pentacles, but this is, I'm holding on to my values because I don't think the same way flying, right? Yeah. That different perspective. Three of cups is in the concern. I want my joy. I want my happiness for some. It could be a reconciliation. The death card is in the environment. It's a transformation. 
when somebody thinks differently and their values change or whatever's going on in this reading, uh, everything will change, right? Yeah, and we have it with the Four of Cups. Yeah, something is kind of let go here, rejected. And the King of Pentacles it sits in the desire. Sometimes we call this the action, like where you want to take action in your life. Uh, the King of Pentacles, you know, could be you or another earth sign. Um, but let's get a card. It could be somebody who's financially doing well. We have the Knight of Wands with it. This is taking action. It definitely is uh, toward you, Capricorn, or you may be doing this, or about values. Um, and, you know, once again, there could be somebody in this reading who has financial success. Could definitely be you, Capricorn, the 10th house of achievement, right? Yeah, and career and social status. We have the queen now, and the queen is really, uh, if we want to get technical, right next to the seven of cups reversed. And so uh, this, the choice has been made. There's definitely no confusion. And once again, somebody's thinking differently now uh, about their life because of the higher perspective in the reading. So we're going to end this reading, uh, Capricorn. There may be a divine couple here when we see the queen. Uh, the queen and the king together. Yeah, um, yeah, mm-hmm. So in this reading, they look like they're related, kind of, right? Uh, maybe they're from the Pentacle family, right? <laughs> maybe their last name is uh, Rich, right, or Money. Uh, that's kind of a joke, but, you know, uh, they could be. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that you're getting together with family. I'm just saying uh, this is about values, this reading, and uh, mm -hmm, just sometimes we could have family in here. Not, not that you're going to marry them, though, Capricorn, all right? Yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. It's a great reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and go ahead and hit the little bell in order to receive all my notifications. Get your past life uh, regression super, uh, super freeing for you, leaving you calmer and feeling uh, better about your life. That's what they do, yeah. Uh, and I'm certified to do that. And everything is below here. You can email me for that, or you can click on the... Uh, uh, you can email me for that. And it's below too. And I don't believe it's on the calendar. And uh, no, I don't believe it's there yet. Thanks so much for joining me and get a psychic reading. Click on the calendar. Thank you so much, you guys.